Learn English Through Stories, C24 PDF. Adopted and modified by Kowant Singh Sandhu. Contents 1. The Spotless Banana. 2. Mother's Damp Love. 3. Making a Difference. 4. The Past Continuous. 5. Picture Dictionary Page. 1. The Spotless Banana. Abid Jan was a very wealthy man of Pakistan. He was so rich that he had big houses with lawns, swimming pools, tennis courts, and garages in all the big cities of Pakistan. But unlike common perception about the wealthy people, he was nice. He did not cheat people, he did not lie, and he never made an unfair deal. He also gave huge amounts of money in charity. Abid Jan had only one child, Asma January. Since she was his only child, she got a lot of attention and care from him and everybody else. Sometimes, too much love and care spoils kids. But this was not the case with Abid Jan's daughter, Asma. She was also very good and kind to others like her father. Asma Jan was also a very neat and clean girl. She used to bathe every day in the morning, and she used to wash her hands before and after every meal. She was also very pious and offered her prayers five times daily. She also used to recite Quran Majid daily. The best thing about Asma Jan was that she never made fuss about food. She would not cry and misbehave badly over food. In fact, even though her father Abid Jan could afford to give her the best delicious dishes three times daily, she would eat vegetables and boiled food also without making a bad face. She would thank God for whatever food she got and say, there are millions who don't get to eat anything and sleep hungry at night. But there was one little problem. She would not eat bananas. Somehow whenever she looked at a banana she felt like lame. At first her father, Abid Jan, thought that she had some sort of allergy. He took her to the best doctors, but all they said was that they hadn't seen a kid with better health than asthma. They told him that she was not allergic to anything. This little problem sometimes created bigger problems at the table. Other people loved bananas, so whenever it was kept on the table she would not even look at it. Since everyone cared a lot for asthma, they avoided eating and bringing bananas home. One day Abid Jan went up to Asma and said, My dear child, we have noticed that you don't like bananas. Can you please tell me what the problem is? Asma replied, Papa, I am sorry to cause so much inconvenience to you and others. The problem is that when I see the black spots on the banana I feel like vomiting. I mean, how can we eat something that is rotten? Papa, you know very well that I even eat boiled vegetables, but do you expect me to eat rotten food? Abidjan smiled and said, Oh, such a small problem. Okay, dear Asma, I'll ask Sammy to bring a spotless banana for you today. Then when you have tasted it, I will tell you something that you do not know. Asma said, Thank you, Papa. May God bless you. You care so much for me. That day Asma was given a spotless banana. Yes, a banana that was totally yellow with a little shade of green on the top and the bottom. She peeled the skin and looked in amazement at a pure milky white fruit. Obviously this was the first time she had seen a banana completely white from the inside. She ate it. Then Abid Jan asked her, Yes, Asma, what did the banana taste like? Asma replied, Papa, it looked great. But it did not taste good. It was sort of, um, tasteless. Okay, Asma, now try this spotted banana. Abid said while handing her a spotted banana. Asma took it reluctantly. 
she peeled the skin and looked inside. It was a bit softer than the spotless one, and it had blackish spots here and there. Although she did not feel like eating it, but she was very curious to know what her father wanted to tell her that she had not known, so she ate it. Then Abid asked again, which one is better? Asma replied, Papa the spotted one looked partially rotten but it tasted better. Then Abidjan said, This is exactly what I wanted to tell you, Asma. Never judge a book by its cover. Just like the banana, everyone has spots. I mean, you will not like everything in everyone, but you must like them overall. People and fruits are sweet and good. If you keep looking at a person's bad habits, you will never be able to find a friend because no one is spotless. If someone has faults but is overall good, you should be friends with that person. A friend is a person who thinks you are a good egg, even though slightly cracked. 2. Mother's Damp Love After having reached the height of his career, a man felt his duty to repay his mother back for all that she had done for him. He asked, Mother, what can I give you? What can I do for you? I sincerely wish to repay you for the sacrifices you have made for me and for all the love you have showered upon me. Mother looked surprised and said, Why do you think about it? It was my duty so I did it. You don't have to repay me, even if you want to. There is no way a man can ever repay his mother. Despite her continuous refusal to ask for anything, the son persisted. To put an end to the discussion, she said, All right, if you must, then tonight you sleep on my bed, with me, just as you used to when you were a baby. He said, That's a strange thing to ask for, but if it pleases you, I will. As soon as he fell asleep, the mother got up and brought a bucket of water. She poured a mug full of water on his side. Feeling disturbed by the wetness under him, in his sleep he moved away to the other side of the bed. As he settled down, his mother poured another mug of water on the other side. In his slumber, he tried to find space towards the footpost of the bed. Sometime later, he woke up feeling that this part of the bed, too, was damp. He got up and saw his mother, with the mug in her hand. He asked angrily, What are you doing, mother? Why don't you let me sleep? How do you expect me to sleep on a wet bed? Mother said, I slept with you when you used to wet the bed in the night. I would move you to the dry part of the bed while I slept on the wet side. You wanted to repay me. Can you sleep here even for one night with me on a damp bed? If you can, I'll take it that you have repaid me. 3. Making a difference My friend was walking down a deserted Mexican beach at sunset. As he walked along, he began to see another man in the distance. As he grew nearer, he noticed that the local native kept leaning down, picking something up and throwing it out into the water. Time and again he kept hurling things out into the ocean. As my friend approached even closer, he noticed that the man was picking up starfish that had washed up on the beach, and one at a time, he was throwing them back into the water. My friend was puzzled. He approached the man and said, Good evening, friend. I was wondering what you were doing. I'm throwing these starfish back into the ocean. You see it's low tide right now, and all of these starfish have been washed up onto the shore. If I don't throw them back into the sea, they'll die up here from lack of oxygen. I understand, my friend replied, but there must be thousands of starfish on this beach. You can't possibly get to all of them. There are simply too many. And don't you realize this is probably happening on hundreds of beaches all up and down this coast? Can't you see that you can't possibly make a difference? The local native smiled, bent down and picked up yet another starfish, and as he threw it back into the sea, he replied, made a difference to that one. 
4. The past continuous progressive tense. Use the past progressive tense to talk about actions that were going on at a certain moment in the past. 1. James was talking to Banta. 2. Suki was reading a storybook. 3. Ruby was erasing the chalkboard. 4. David was doing his maths homework. 5. Peter was showing Joe his new watch. 6. Gora was drawing a horse in her notebook. 7. Akbar was looking for his pencil. 8. Some children were mocking a lot of noise. Past continuous and past simple together one. Bantel was waiting for the bus when Banta passed by. 2. I was having a bath when the phone rang. 3. I was reading a book when the light went. 4. I was going home when I saw my girlfriend crying. 5. I fell of when I was riding my bike. 5. Pictured dictionary page.